Lemons are the most essential ingredients of the kitchen. And when you have to make a dessert out of it, lemon curd is the best. Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and to the Ultimate Baking Series with me, Chef Afraz. Today I'm going to show you a recipe of lemon curd tart with meringue. So let's start making lemon curd meringue tart. Over here I have short crust dough. To know the recipe, you can log on to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana YouTube. So I'm going to start making the tart first and then I would make the lemon curd. So here I have nice short crust flaky dough which I'm going to cut it into half. Put the remaining back into the refrigerator. And now I'm going to lightly dust my work table with some refined flour. And then I'm going to roll this into a thin sheet. It is very simple to make this short crust dough. You can also make this and store this in the refrigerator for quite a few days and it helps when guests are around you can easily make some tarts and stuff so now after rolling this I'm going to cut this with a cookie cutter according to the size of the tart which I'm going to line so for now I'm going to make six you can again roll the dough and use the remaining dough and now over here I have some cute small tarts which I'm going to line with this rolled dough So now after lining the tarts, I'm going to take out the excess. So now that we have lined all the tarts, it's time to blind bake them. So for that, I'm going to use some parchment paper. So now quickly I'm going to place this parchment paper over the top and put some beans so that our dough doesn't puff. So now our tarts are ready to go for blind baking. So let's put this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for around 10 to 12 minutes so till the time our tarts are getting baked let's make the lemon curd for that i'm going to heat up a pan to which i'm going to add lemon juice around half a cup of lemon juice with that i'm going to add one fourth cup of caster sugar with that also i'm going to add some lemon rind so zest of two lemons next i'm going to separate three egg yolks So as you can see the lemon and sugar has come to a boil. At this stage I am going to add 2 tablespoons of butter. Butter gives a really nice shine to the lemon curd. So now the butter has nicely melted. At this stage I am going to shut the gas. Add a splash of this to the egg yolks. And then I am going to mix this vigorously as we don't want the eggs to cook. And then I'm going to add the remaining, give this a nice mix. I'm going to place the pan again on heat and pour this mixture back to the pan. And now I'm going to cook this, stirring continuously for around 5 to 7 minutes till it thickens. So now as you see the mixture has thickened, at this stage I'm going to shut the gas, take this out in a bowl. And then I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator till our further use. So now as you see, our tarts have perfectly baked. I'm going to take out the beans. And now let's take them off the mold. Nice and flaky, our tarts are ready. I'm going to let this cool for a bit. In the meantime, I'm going to start making the meringue. For that, I'm going to use the egg whites. I'm going to start beating this. And now once the egg whites turn for me, I'm going to add sugar. Continue beating this. You need to add sugar gradually. And now I'm going to beat this till nice stiff peak. So now I've got nice stiff peaks. At this stage, I'm going to stop beating this. I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator till further use. Now I'm going to take out the lemon curd, give this a mix and now I'm going to put this into a piping bag. So here I have melted some white chocolate and I'm going to brush this on the base of the tart. The reason behind we don't want our tart to get soggy when we fill the lemon curd. So this prevents the tart from going soggy. Now once the chocolate has again set, I'm going to start piping the lemon curd. 
So after filling the tarts with the lemon curd, I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator for 5 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to fill the beaten egg whites into a piping bag. So now the tarts have nicely set on the top. I'm going to pipe this lovely meringue on top. And now I'm going to blow torch this. And now as the moment you see, the egg whites starts to puff up. And this is done. Now let's quickly plate this. So here I have a lovely plate on which I'm going to dress some icing sugar. And now I'm going to place this lovely tart over it. And this one is for me. So here you go, a lovely lemon curd meringue tart is ready. Looks delicious and it is very impressive to present. So do give it a try. If you like the videos that we share on YouTube, do subscribe to us on our YouTube channel.